Thank you for coming to my presentation. I'm Shao Huali. This video is for introducing the paper Falcon, a Fourier transform based approach for fast and secure convolutional neural network predictions. Assuming we have a client that holds an X ray image and a cloud holds a machine learning model that is trained for diagnosis. Because both input and model contain private information, we hope each side's information will never be revealed to others during evaluation. Our paper is trying to solve this problem securely and efficiently. Our method relies on two secure computation techniques. The first one is fully homomorphic encryption. With this encryption, one could do addition and multiplication on ciphertexts without knowing the original message. It has low communication cost, however, a huge computation cost. The second one is secure multi-party computation. It allows two parties to collaboratively evaluate any function. Compared with fully homomorphic encryption, it has low communication commu computation cost, however, high communication cost. Our paper utilizes these two techniques together. Here is a toy CN model for illustration to our scheme. For convolutional and fully connected layers, we refer them as linear layers. For ReLU and max pooling layers, they are nonlinear layers. For linear layers, we use homomorphic encryption, and for nonlinear and uh, soft max layers, we use secure two party computation. Now, assuming we have an input X that is going to go through the whole CNN model. A common way to do this is to encrypt each pixels in the input one by one. But this method has too many homomorphic operations and thus very slow and inefficient. In our paper, we do this in another way. We first utilize FFT to convert input X as well as kernels from time domain to frequency domain. Then encrypt the whole input and let the client pass the single ciphertext to the cloud for evaluation. After calculations, the cloud uses a randomly generated value to mix up the ciphertext and send back the result. At this point, the final result x prime is split into two parts. Each party holds one of them. For fully connected layers, we convert it into an equivalent convolutional layers with kernel size equals to one. So we can use the same method as before to evaluate this layer. The output of a linear layer is split into two parts, and they are also the inputs to nonlinear layers. In many cases, ReLU and max pooling layers are used together. We can see that in the original pipeline, the total number of max operations is 28. We can simply reverse the position of these two layers in the pipeline to keep the results unchanged while reducing the number of max operations to 16. We further design a Boolean circuit for secure two-party computation to evaluate max operation. The output of a nonlinear layer is also split into two parts, and they are inputs to the softmax layer. The main obstacle here is the high complexity of softmax operations due to many exponentiation operations. So our idea here is to replace the calculation with a simpler function. Let's see this example. Here is the calculation for the probability of target class, five classes in total. If we drop the last term in the denominator, we can see that the first five figures remain the same in output. Dropping the last two terms, the first three figures remain the same. Inspired by this observation, we proposed an approximation theorem for softmax function. It basically means we can keep a pretty high precision while only involves a few exponential action in softmax calculation. You can find out more details in our paper and the proof in the supplementary material. Now the client could get the prediction result from the cloud, and nothing is revealed during the prediction. From the experimental results, we can see that our results perform best compared with the previous papers in singular, single layers as well as the whole model. In summary, our paper gives the secure and efficient evaluation methods for each kind of layers and their combinations. Thank you for your listening.